New quarantine guidance was issued this week by the CDC for individuals who have received both doses of either the Pfizer or Moderna COVID-19 vaccine. The guidance stated that two weeks after a patient's second dose of the vaccine, they no longer needed to quarantine after a COVID exposure. However, according to local experts, this guidance is only effective for 90 days after receiving the vaccine. We anticipate those timelines to be extended. So for right now, we know for 90 days, um, individuals have immunity from COVID-19 that have received the vaccines. The new guidance also applies to traveling. So when it comes to traveling, if it's travel within the U.S., um, those individuals would fall under this guidance as far as being fully vaccinated. And that is more um, a local decision that's that's been made. Although the vaccine does loosen some restrictions, Way urged all North Country residents to still follow COVID precautions such as mask wearing and social distancing. We don't have enough people vaccinated at this point where we can ease up on those precautions. Uh, we're still, you know, I know we're a year into COVID and we've learned a lot about the virus, but we're continuing to learn more about the virus and continuing to learn more about the vaccine. So until we know exactly um, how fully vaccinated individuals will fit into this, are they you know, going to be able, they may not become sick with the virus, but could they potentially spread it to others, um, somebody that's not vaccinated? So until we have all of that data and mostly um, until more individuals are vaccinated, we still need to wear a mask and, and do social distancing. And as the North Country nears the one-year mark of fighting the coronavirus, Waite reminded all to remain diligent and applauded the sacrifices made throughout the past year. We've made a lot of progress. Our infection rates are down, which is great. Um, I would just caution people to continue to, to take those precautions. Our infection rates are down because we have because we have done that. Just that I, I commend our community for all of the sacrifices that they've made, that we've all made over this past year. It hasn't been easy on anybody. And um, that's something to recognize. And um, hopefully we will see a, a better future soon. For ABC 50 in Watertown, I'm Isabella Colello.